Welcome back to Fast Gadgets, comrades. Well, since the break, uh, I've managed to get out here and get out on the deck. Brought my laptop and a cup of coffee. Well, I say I brought my laptop, but in reality, my wife did that for me. So I have to thank her for helping me get everything moved from inside the house out here onto the deck. So things are going a little bit better. The pain is starting to go down. Um, still no fun, you know? I can't put any weight on it or anything, which is kind of depressing, but eventually I will be able to put weight on it. And at that point, I'll begin to feel a little bit better. Uh, starting July 6th, I'm gonna be going to see the doctor to see if I need any further surgery or if they can go ahead and start letting me bear weight on it and go into therapy, which I'm really hoping, but for right now, I'm just enjoying being outside, enjoying the fine weather, and seeing that my lawn needs to be mowed and there's really very little I can do about it. Uh, probably gonna have my wife come out here and mow it. Um, she actually, I was really worried about her mowing lawn because she's very small, but she cut right through it like it was nobody's business, so I was really appreciative of that. Got my laptop here so I can work on some fast gadgets things. Um, quick and funny, hilarious story to tell you. So um, on my Lenovo Yoga 10 910, I fixed the, do the problems with Linux and I was able to go ahead and use Linux on my laptop. I was all excited. I shut it down and I booted back up and decided I needed to go into Windows and I saw the Lenovo boot screen and a message that said please wait while system update is being installed and that took about five minutes and I recognized that screen basically what it was was the screen for a UEFI BIOS update so it appears that Windows did a BIOS update for me and it literally bricked that Lenovo Yoga 910 because I could not boot into Windows and I could not boot into Linux. Now, I have a video here. So if you do a search here for Yoga 910 on my Fast Gadgets page, whoops, I waited too long. My Wi-Fi isn't all that great out here. And if you go down to setting up dual boot on the Yoga 910 with Fedora and Windows. That one will show you the settings that you need to have in your BIOS. So basically what happened was Windows 10 loaded a new uh, Yoga 910 UEFI BIOS on my system. And when that happened, it reset all the settings. And there's several that you have to change, but the most important one is the setting that uh, turns the controller to the, I believe it's called the RST Intel Premium Controller, and you have to change it back to the AHCI controller. So if you do run into that problem, and you can't boot into Linux, and you will not be able to boot into Windows either, watch that video again, because it will tell you what you need to do as far as the BIOS settings go. So big surprise for me, uh, Windows was not able to boot up and neither was Linux because the controller for the SSD was changed from the AHCI to the RST Intel Premium Controller. It's like a software RAID. Uh, but once I changed that setting back, and of course I changed all the settings back that I change in this video. So again, if you're running that problem, just go check it out and make those changes real quick and you should be okay. So I thought I lost my computer, my Yoga 910 there for a while, but um, once I fixed that Windows, well, I should say Linux booted up immediately just fine. Windows had to go through a repair and then said, hey, you know, maybe you should try rebooting the computer and it'll work. So 
pretty ignorant setup to say the least so I went through and rebooted it again and then it did hot rodders driving through here did go through just fine so just a little update today to let you know what's going on in the computer world and of course I had to fall back on my trusty MacBook Pro 2015 and I did just that so looks like everybody's back so now things are working just fine and now I'm back to my trusty computer as well as my Yoga 910. It was funny because I needed to have Windows because I was testing a simulator for Cisco routers for a class that I'm teaching. And of course, I needed Windows to install the software. And the only one I had was my desktop system. And it's kind of hard to get to that stuff right now with this broken leg. It makes everything much more challenging. So glad I got that computer working. Anyway. Hope to see you again. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets.